<sighs> oh, you guys. You guys. So I ran a poll. I ran a poll on one of my videos in regards to whether Hazel should continue on with 2D or 3D development. What kind of stuff are you guys interested in? Are you interested in 2D rendering and 3D rendering? Should we have beautiful 3D scenes? Should we have blazing fast 2D rendering? It's all just so amazing. Which one do you want? And based on that poll that I ran in that video, two thirds of you, right? Like 66, 67% don't remember. Two thirds of you said, I want 3D. Comments were like, you know, man, just bring on the 3D. That's what we care about. I was so sure that it was going to be 3D that I already started planning 3D. You know, I started PBR, like image-based lighting, just animation, all this kind of complex stuff. Not easy to teach at all, but no. Cherno started planning that for you guys because that's the way it's going to be. Everyone wants 3D. And then, and then I was like, you know what? I hate this kind of YouTube poll stuff that's in like some video that's weird. Right, I can't even see how many people have voted. Why don't I run an actual poll, like on the YouTube community kind of page thing. I'll just make a post, it'll be a poll, and I'll ask you guys one more time, this will be the final definitive poll, 2D or 3D. You jokers, you clowns, right? 50%, 50% on each. Yeah, I'm watching the votes come in, 1,000 votes, 2,000 votes, 3,000 votes, 50-50. So first of all, that just tells me that you guys have absolutely no idea what you actually want, right? Who, like 50%, that doesn't happen. It's like saying like, here's a line, you know, pick a side guys, and you just, half of you literally go on one side, half of you go on the other side. Like, when does that ever happen? Ridiculous, right? And finally, crosses over like, tips over like 4,000 votes. It's coming time for me to decide. I'm thinking at that point, it's like 50-50. Maybe I should start doing like two episodes a week, one of each or something, because clearly half my audience wants something completely different than the other half. 4,000 votes, 4,000 votes, tips over, 51%, where does 51% go to? 2D, yeah, 2D, now, me personally, I probably would have picked 2D to do first, right, because 2D is something that has an end, right, 2D rendering is kind of like, you know, you, you start it, you end it, you're kind of done, that, that's as far as 2D rendering goes, 3D rendering, we're still trying to work out how to do that, the industry is still trying to work out what the best way to render stuff in 3D actually is, it's still kind of just very much being figured out and people are learning, trying new techniques, that's never going to end, 3D rendering in Hazel could continue doing that for years and years and years, that's kind of where all the advancements are coming from, you don't hear about some massively awesome solution that someone's created for 2D rendering, no, because that's kind of like, I mean, quote unquote solved. Like sure, you can make it faster. You can maybe render more on the screen with, you know, if you optimize it well and do whatever, but mostly that's kind of solved, right? So 2D rendering is, but then you guys had me so convinced that you wanted 3D that I just went ahead, planned all this stuff, spent all this time. I'm gonna have to throw all that away because it looks like we're gonna be doing 2D and it's not even like it won by a long shot. Right, I'm gonna get dislikes. I'm gonna get people being like, probably half of you being like, I wanted 3D, why didn't three why is Cherno so stupid he doesn't know that 3D is the way to go? Enough. Right? Enough. I'm gonna quit this YouTube thing, you just watch me. Nah guys, I'm just kidding. 2D is the way that we're gonna go, and that's totally fine by me. In fact, that's probably what I would have picked if you gave me a choice, just because of, as I mentioned earlier, it kind of has an end, you know? I've been sitting here planning what I'm gonna do with 2D. It's looking pretty good, to be honest. I'm gonna try and actually make 2D very interesting for you guys, because I know that not everyone's gonna be interested in this, and that's totally fine. In fact, the good news is that if you don't care about 2D, if you just wanna jump into 3D and kind of jump into the fancy graphics, physically-based rendering, that kind of stuff, I've already done that in the Hazel development branch. A couple days ago, I put up a video, I'll link it up there, of me trying to fix a problem in the Hazel development branch. Go ahead and check that video out if you haven't already. It shows off a bunch of 3D stuff that I've already written in the Hazel development branch. And of course, you can get access to that Hazel development branch right now if you just go to patreon.com forward slash the channel and help support this channel and Hazel and everything that I do here on YouTube. So because of that, it's cool that there's kind of something for everyone. We're going to just publicly here on YouTube move on to doing 2D stuff for Hazel. We're going to take Hazel down the 2D development route, which I think is really exciting because it means that we can kind of get Hazel to the point where we can actually start making games with Hazel, which is kind of 
you know, most of the point of having a game engine. And on the other side of things, for those who are interested in the 3D development of Hazel, you can follow along with those videos that I'll kind of release periodically or just get access to everything by helping to support this channel. All right, so 2D, how are we going to do this? 2D is not an easy task. It's not necessarily a very hard task, but it's also not easy. And I think that to do it well as well, it requires requires a little bit of thought. So the way that we're gonna kind of gonna tackle this is I wanna make this as fun as possible for everyone. We could render 2D sprites, we could just make something very basic like a 2D platformer. I'm just gonna go like kind of all in. I want to see like a million particles on the screen or something, just 2D like sprites behaving in some kind of fashion. I wanna just go all in. I wanna make something that visually looks impressive. I wanna add post processing to it, post effects, stuff like that. So we can have bloom so that we can have like you know, blurring and just cool stuff like that, color grading. You know, I want to kind of push this kind of 2D rendering and make it as high quality as we possibly can. Um, other stuff that we'll have to tackle as a result of this are things like font rendering, which I honestly wanted to kind of just shove under the rug for a while because I definitely don't like doing that. Um, and then we might have to talk about like UI and a UI system and layouts and stuff like that, which I'm also not the biggest fan of. We'll have 2D animation. These are just some of the things that I've kind of written, but overall I think it should be pretty exciting. Now what I want to do to make this a little bit more interesting because Game Engine uh, series videos only come out once a week and they take a, they take quite a while for me to make just because of course I want to get my explanations down pretty well. In fact, the last video, which was about textures, definitely check it out if you haven't already in the Game Engine series. That one, that goes for like 51 minutes, that video, right? So that's what I'm talking about. They're kind of long, they're kind of me trying to obviously not just show me adding code, but also kind of, I guess, teach and explain how to do what I'm doing, why I'm doing what I'm doing, the reasons behind certain decisions, how things work, that kind of stuff. And because of that, they can kind of go on for a while. So while I make those videos, and in fact, while I kind of research and implement Hazel 2D, just in my own spare time on my own kind of local copy of the Hazel code, what I want to do is maybe start bringing out some kind of devlog videos. And these devlog videos will just kind of show my day or the last couple days, what I've kind of achieved, anything that I've actually like got to show for myself, I might just show like on a screen capture or something like that. And I'm going to just work it in and just kind of discuss, I guess, what I'm thinking about while I'm planning you know, this 2D system for Hazel. I think that'll be really cool for you guys to see in addition to the game engine series. Also just kind of like vlog style videos in which I kind of just discuss how everything is going to work and just show what I've basically done. So let me know what you think of that idea. Hopefully you guys will like it. I'm just going to try and put as much production quality into these videos, going to make some really beautiful shots. And I'm honestly just really looking forward to getting 2D Hazel up and running. And in fact, that's how, how I kind of got this idea. You know, I was like, literally like yesterday, I was like, I'm going to have to sit down at my desk and do all of this work. But since I'm just, you know, working like from home now, since I'm a professional YouTuber and I'm working on Hazel, I'm doing all this stuff. There's just no one really around, right? Like to talk to about this kind of stuff. So why not make videos and why not kind of just start recording my process and just show you guys how I go about, you know, researching and implementing something like 2D rendering and 2D game engine support into Hazel. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. I just want to kind of make a quick update video, just sharing what we're going to do with Hazel, which of course is 2D. And also just letting you know some of the ideas that I had for videos in the future. I will see you next time. Goodbye.